hello guys today i am going to explain about the topic uh, hype so for the entire big data analytics notes and as well as pptes i have shared the complete drive link in the description box so please uh, find out that uh, link guys so if any information you want further means please uh, comment me in the comment section so that uh, i will try to provide the same videos further so let's go into the topic now about the hive what is this hive what are the features limitations and what is the architecture of the hive so we'll see each and everything this is also one of the important question in the unit 4 guys and a hive is basically it will acts like a data warehouse system it will acts like a warehouse we know what is meant by a warehouse it is like a centralized storage system right and we can store it and we can uh, retrieve the data also how we can store the data in the form of a warehouse we are going to store our data and we can analyze the structured data here why because we have built all these uh, on the top of the hadoop guys and who developed this particular hive means uh, this was developed by the facebook actually uh, they want to run all these map reduce jobs uh, uh, by using the another uh, applications uh, so they want to build a new application which is called as an apache hive which was developed by the facebook guys but we are going to run all the map reduce jobs with the help of in terms of sql like queries only right but these are very simple these are like sql queries and but we are going to run only the map reduce jobs guys so the same thing why because if you take the uh, map reduce coding usually we have to write it in the java programming language using the java code so if you want to write a simple word count program also we need to write nearly up to 20 to 25 or 30 to 40 lines of code using the java programming language uh, which is a very difficult task here so that's why at that point of time only they want to invent one more new application where uh, we can write with very less number of lines of code and uh, during that point of time in the earlier days we don't have that many number of skilled java professionals are not available and uh, we don't have a uh, uh, that much uh, programmers also so that is the reason they want to invent uh, two applications so facebook developed the apache hive and as well as the yahoo researchers or the scientists they developed the apache pig parallelly but for the main aim is they want to run the map reduce jobs only they want to run these map reduce job but using the applications hive and using the applications apache pig our next topic is apache pig we will discuss that one later and we will see this one so hive it will provides all the functionalities of reading writing managing the large data sets resided in the distributed storage so and it, we are going to run the sql like queries uh, they have invented one new language which is called as the hive query language guys so which gets internally converted into the map reduce jobs so they have invented like uh, sql they have invented uh, they have another language like a uh, hive query language where we can uh, internally convert all these uh, query languages into the map reduce jobs so using the hive we can skip the requirement of the traditional approach of uh, uh, writing the complex map reduce jobs and it will support all the ddl uh, statements like uh, your creation your alter your all these commands also we can uh, mm, do it with the help of the hive and we can go for the dml commands also and uh, we can create our own user defined functions also using the hive guys and our uh, hive ql automatically it will convert the sql like queries into the map reduce jobs so finally our task is to run the map reduce jobs but by using the hive sql like queries and the uh, features of the hive all these are the features of the hive guys uh, hive is very fast and it is very scalable and uh, it will provide the sql like queries that's why we gave the another name like hql uh, where we are going to transform our map reduce or the spark jobs uh, here and it is capable of analyzing the large data sets which are already stored on the hdfs yes and it will allow the storage uh, types like um, plain text uh, and the hbase and uh, we can operate uh, on the compressed data which is already stored in the hadoop ecosystem and it will support all the user defined functions uh, so that the user can create his own functionalities and his own uh, things can be done using the hive guys and uh, these are the few limitations we can't uh, hive is not capable of handling all the real time data guys that means if any live data is there uh, hive is not capable of handling the live data here and it is not designed for only for the online transaction processing 
we are going to do the online analytical processing here and the hive query is a uh, will gives the good latency high latency is there that means within a fraction of seconds we are going to get the responses and whatever the responses and the results that which we are going to get uh, uh, we can uh, Mm, whatever the results we are going to get again we can store back in the hdfs guys right and uh, these are the few differences between the hive and the pig uh, guys so this is the architecture of the hive see if you see here uh, we are having the architecture in that architecture we are having uh, uh, two components are there one is hive client and another one is the hive services so in the hive client again we are having the three components are there guys so that is the thrift server jdbc driver and as well as the odbc driver these are the three components which are available in the hive client and uh, followed by what are the services that will be provided by the hive means uh, we are having the uh, hive web ui user interface and hive server will be there cli stands for command line interface and then we are having the hive drivers are there followed by meta store and then map reduce and then hdfs this is the architecture we will uh, explain we will see what is that uh, thrift server jdbc driver odbc driver all these things uh, in detail guys and what is this thrift server means uh, it is a cross language service platform provider guys which will serves all the requests that which we are going to get uh, from all the different programming languages so thrift server it will supports whatever the queries we are going to get from the multiple languages it is going to process all these requests where we are going to get from all the multiple languages why because the programming languages people they use it to write the code in the python in java in c in c sharp like that they use it to write in the multiple languages all these multiple languages queries will be supported by these uh, thrift server guys and the jdbc driver what is the responsibility of this jdbc driver here it is uh, this is responsible for establishing the connection between the hive and the java if you want uh, the connection between the hive and as well as the java related applications uh, i can use these uh, jdbc drivers here so where uh, uh, i am going to use these jdbc drivers what is the full form of the jdbc ma uh, java database uh, connectivity here and we need the open uh, odbc drivers also so where it will uh, uh, we if any the applications which will support the odbc drivers are there means odbc protocols are there means uh, where if you want to connect these uh, with the hive means then we can go for the uh, odbc drivers and uh, followed by we are having few services are there which is called as the hive cli hive cli stands for a uh, hive command line interface uh, where it is a shell where we can execute all the hive queries and the commands here all the hive queries and the commands we can execute using the ju just a simple terminal we can execute it guys and a hive web uh, cli hive web cli means it is a shell uh, where uh, uh, just it is an alternative of the hive web client guys where it will provide the web based gui for executing the hive queries and the commands for executing the high queries and the commands it is going to provide you one sort of a graphical user interface with the help of that interface also we can uh, execute the queries and the commands then uh, hive server what is what about this hive server guys so here it is uh, also referred to as the apache thrift server we can uh, uh, consider like apache thrift server it will accept the request from all the different clients and provides it to the hive drivers so from where i am going to get all the requests i am going to get the request from the thrift server from the jdbc drivers and from the odbc drivers all these will be accepted and processed by the hive servers and these hive servers again they are going to send the request to the hive drivers again where these hive drivers it is going to receive the queries from the different sources from what are the different sources again the hive drivers it is going to receive uh, from the hive web cli from the hive server and from the command line interface from these are the possible resources from where the hive driver is able to receive the queries here and it will transfer all the queries to the hive compiler again okay hive it is going to send all the queries to the hive compiler what is the purpose of the compiler guys where it will parse all the queries and perform the semantic analysis uh, on the different query blocks and the expressions guys and it will convert the hive ql statements into the map reduce jobs so that is the responsibility of the hive compiler here in this diagram it has not shown 
but after the hive driver it will sends to the hive compiler where it will do all the parsing of the queries and the semantic analysis syntax analysis will be done by the hive compiler and it will uh, converts all the hive query language statements into the map reduce jobs and then it will sends to the hive execution engine so in the hive execution engine we are having the optimizer it will generates the logical plan in the form of the dag dag stands for the directed acyclic graphs of the map reduce tasks and the hdfs tasks all these tasks it is going to convert like the dag that is the directed acyclic graphs so at the end our execution engine will executes all the incoming tasks in the order of their dependencies then uh, what about the meta store finally hive compiler and then hive execution and then we will send to the hive meta store so this meta store it is like a central repository where it will stores all the structured information of various tables and as well as the partitions in the warehouse so in this warehouse only all the tables related information will be there and all the tables related information partitions on the warehouse everything will be there here so the serializers and the deserializers who want to read and write the data uh, and the corresponding hdfs files uh, where all the data will be stored in this uh, meta store only and then it is followed by the map reduce you know about the map reduce and the, as well as in the if you want to store all the queries related results uh, in the hdfs you can store all these uh, results in the hdfs back again right so this is the entire architecture of the hive guys and uh, this is about uh, the complete explanation whatever i have explained uh, this is the complete explanation guys so i think uh, i hope you like this video guys thank you for watching my channel please like share and subscribe guys and uh, please find the entire notes some ppts and as well as the five units notes i have shared in the description box please find out thank you guys